A number of different methods are available to test sulfur dioxide during winemaking. So what is so special about the FOSS WineScan SO2? FOSS Wine Product Manager Torben Selber explains. The SO2 analysis in wine is, is a very important analysis and thereby there are many different methods to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to estimate the, the, the content. But in, in general I would say the WineScan SO2 is is uh, placing itself in, 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 in the fast end, so to speak. And if you compare it to this reference method we are using, uh, which is the, um, it's called the aeration oxidation method, it, it takes uh, two times 15 minutes, so, so thereby we're gaining considerably time. The, uh, the, the savings in, in, in manpower is really, really considerable. So that's, uh, I think it's quite easy to, uh, to make a calculation where, where the benefits are. Then there are other, other methods, uh, particularly by colorimetric uh, methods. Uh, they are, let's say, on the same speed level as the wine scan SO2. And then you can add the SO2 to the, to the list of results. You, you, uh, you get them in one go. We perform about the 150 analyses per day. So, no, it's a, a very useful, uh, a very useful machine. SSU model is very useful because uh, um, usually uh, with our product we perform the IFU method and uh, um, the IFU method uh, needs uh, 50 minutes to, to check the, the SO2 in our product. With this one uh, we can perform the analysis in about 3-4 uh, minutes. So it's uh, a big advantage. Even though the sulfur dioxide test is very fast, it does slow the regular wine scan tests a little. Here users can switch over to the normal wine scan mode and get over 20 quality parameters in just a few seconds. Well, well for one thing it's giving an overview uh, and then in particular you, know, you, uh, you can have interest in looking on, on SO2 and the pH values and the alcohol because these three factors or parameters together uh, is indicating how well your wine is protected. You take your sample, and put it on the pipette, and you press start, and it, everything works. It takes longer time than a normal wine scan SO2 analysis because we still have to separate, and the separation process is uh, is taking time. But you can easily swap from one way of doing analysis, including the SO2 or not including it. When you compare the two measuring times, it's a half minute for the pure wine scan, but combining it with the SO2, it takes two and a half minutes.